had an opportunity to see some things and bring those back to my students, get them to see life outside of their own bubble. And at Varnasi, that's where I stayed for a long time and tried to find out what life was like along the Ganges. They're doing laundry in the water. What else are they doing? So many of these children, they're drinking bottled water. They think they're drinking it because their tap water is bad and they don't really know that around the world, children can't drink their water. And so it got me thinking, how can we make a difference? Let's feel what it feels like to be a child who does not get to go to school, who has to walk five miles a day to go get some dirty water from a puddle that's polluted. And we walked around the school building about three times, a little less than a mile, about 25 pounds in each bucket of water. I could barely hold it for like two minutes and yeah. they have to do it for miles and miles. Once we started doing it, I realized how heavy the buckets were and how much water you actually need to bring home. When you as the teacher come back and you can say, this is what I experienced, let me tell you what I saw, it engages them in a way like nothing else. I don't go a day without thinking about the things I saw and the people that I met there. This is exactly the sort of thing that is inspiring and gives someone who's been 20 years in the classroom new energy.